fellow space engineers. Well, it's time for another episode. So, I've continued work on my ship here that I'm building in this world. And as you can see, I've done some work on it. You notice there's some other space junk here flying. I put in a refinery, I put in uh, large thrusters, I put in. Um, these are all all going to be boxes, storage containers, a uh, one by ones. Um, the mediums don't go on large ships, <laughs> but large storage containers do. Uh, I was going to place a large one, but I didn't like where these these connection points, uh, you know, that you see on here, these connection points weren't to my satisfaction. Plus, it was pretty huge, so I thought, no, yeah, this is a large ship, but it's not, not. Uh, yeah, it's not going to be like a, a huge, huge ship like the red one that I crashed in, which is way up there. Um, if we go tab, we can see way up there. Um, otherwise, yeah, down here we got this stuff. Um, this is a life raft that I received. Um, I died <laughs> in a game that I was playing with uh, Elushable Echo. Um, I had him, uh, you hop on here, and, and uh, this is kind of his area, so let's go kind of explore that. Uh, he captured this ship, which is a pretty cool ship. Um, I don't know how I can really get you to look at it. There's the entrances in the back there, and it just has some cool storage containers on it. It has some solar panels on it there, and I hope the sound is alright. Um, I've been messing with the settings of the sound, and... Yeah, gonna have to tweak it. Uh, looks like that's his life raft. Let's see if we can kind of go down here. Okay, there's a oh, there's a hole here. So let's go check this out. I think this is where uh, Lushable has been mining. So let's go check it out here. Yeah. Okay, maybe. Uh, ah, that's fine. We're just gonna go take a quick poke. Yeah, so I think this is where he's been going to to mine. Looks like there's some uranium right in here amongst iron. I'm going to have to probably come in here and do some mining too. Uh, and it all falls, I think it falls down into this chamber here and it collects. There's a little pocket here. Where is it? Right here, this is a pocket. Um, then in here it splits off. And that is amazing. This is an amazing. Oh, look at up here too. So you got to make sure you go up the right hole. Um, yeah, and so this is an amazing cave. And now we're just going to go back. Um, I had to recover my my game crash, so it's kind of interesting. I've never seen it before. Um, so it stopped recording on Fraps automatically, and then the game crashed. Um, and then once that occurred, up came a screen for, oh, would you like to submit this bug to uh, you know, the developers? And I thought, okay, and boom, it said, oh, thank you for submitting the report. Uh, you know, have a great day playing, or something to that effect. So. Yeah, so it crashed. <laughs> so maybe there's a bug. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know how to reproduce it if I do. But anyways, back to what we were doing here. So what I was doing is harvesting these vehicles um, for uh, the materials. And I was just adding on a building to my ship here. Um, so yeah, and that's what I was doing. And so what we're going to do So I'm going to go uh, back to the other base that we have. I'm going to actually uh, show you exactly what I got going on there. Let's get out of here safely. Dampers off. Oh, and off we start to head that way. I like to... This actually ship isn't too bad. It's starting to get more sluggish because I've been adding components to it. I think it's increasing the, the mass of the, of the ship, which means that... Uh, Fuel. I'm going to have to get more fuel, and potentially I'm going to have to build another reactor. Um, I might actually build a reactor in the top corner of all the inventory boxes. I'll show you what I'm talking about once we're closer here. Um, but I'm thinking of putting like an inventory box, or not inventory, <laughs> a reactor box in one of the storage boxes. And so, like, you know, take out the storage box and put a, a small reactor. Um, I think two reactors should be plenty for the ship. Um, I'm thinking on uh, almost one small reactor should be enough for the ship 
it is a fairly small ship and it's just more for for traveling around and doing stuff right it's more of like uh like my own lifeboat instead of that stupid yellow one it gives you <laughs> so yeah um what else is going on and that's probably about it i'm gonna continue you building this ship um yeah i don't think you've seen all these ships here this is where let's kind of roll around okay so what's happening here is I've collected a few ships and I've been kind of tearing them apart for components. Um, let's actually let's do this backwards a bit. Do this. I'll probably turn my inertial dampeners on. I'm on the wrong side here. But that's okay. I want to tear apart these mining ships too. Maybe I'll park beside this guy. Oh, that was close. Okay, it just looks a lot closer. Okay. I don't know if I like that beacon on the front. I might be replacing where the beacon lies too. Um, again, it might be on the top row there, like in behind the gyro there. I might put it right there. It's, it seems like a better quality spot. So um, let's just get the ship closer here. Okay. I'm probably gonna start in this end and work our way. So I'm just gonna pop it like this. What I've been doing is kind of just getting as close as I can yeah like this basically <clears throat> I think like this uh, up 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 let's kind of do a quick view let's go backwards a bit okay so I usually park it very close so I can access see uh, show you there we go let's go back to first person I like to play in first person it's, uh, build in third, play in first. So, this is that ship that um, I commandeered. So now you see, look how close my ship is. I'll be able to... Oh, I got some materials. Um, I'll be able to start doing this kind of stuff. Uh, is that materials for... No, okay. Yeah, so watch. So this will be fun. I'm going to take apart this door, just as an example. And you'll notice the volume will be increasing. And once the volume increases, it goes up to you know, 400 in realistic. I don't think I really explained that. Um, yeah. And I will show you some some footage as well of what me and Lusha Bowl were doing. I should have mentioned that earlier and should have ejected this a lot sooner so you can see that early stage. But, ah. Uh, that's okay. So yeah, so I'll, I'll be right here when you come back. So, you know, up is coming some footage of what me and Lushpool did the other day here. Um, you just kind of be mucking around and doing stuff, and and yeah, and uh, you just to see if he, you know, wants to spend time on this or or you know, if you want to carry on with Seven Days to Die. Um, there's going to be some changes there. Um, we're waiting for kind of 8.0 now. Uh, before we're going to record more because we like them to be current um, I find or I feel that you know all of you who are watching these want to watch content and want to watch what's current and not what's old um, which is fair enough but I feel it's still good to watch the old stuff because it has content and it has um, stuff on there that I feel would maybe kind of you give some ideas like you know at one point this is how we had to build things a certain way you know whether it's building a wall whether it's building some sort of, of defense mechanism um and it's just neat to see the evolution occur over the time frames over the different alphas so even if it's just an educational thing i still think they're worth watching uh, but yeah but but you know i'll cut to that footage right now yeah this is it uh, this is gonna be probably i'm gonna record here so uh oh yeah, oh, I was right. Uh, this is an update video. All right, this will be the next one. Just kind of show all the scrap ships that I have. <laughs> They're the one ship that you see you know, anywhere. It says temporary staging point. That's the uh, the refinery that I have going on in there. Because that one you can find. Because it's the only way to get, you find one is through these ships. Uh, Whoa, who parked all these ships here? You're in my way. 
<laughs> that's interesting that you get your own ship and that ship i think even has an assembler and even a refinery yeah. on it yeah oh yeah i go i go first right. class <laughs> i don't get no broken no broken ass shit <laughs> broken ass shit yeah <laughs> that's hilarious Oh, there we go. <laughs> this is hilarious. Uh, where's your door? Oh, there it is. I see it. Ah, no, wrong side. <laughs> it's interesting, hey? Uh, so these are all the mining ships. Got them organized here. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is... Right. There we go. And this is the red ship that you start with, of oh. course, with the crashed scenario. This is the one I just started to dismantle. And then this is the ship I'm building, this one here. I kind of like the design a little bit. It's not done yet, though, and it spins like a son of a bitch. Okay, I'm just going to turn off these tutorials. They're annoying. They're annoying, yeah. I turn those off. show up as you, know, as you go on. <laughs> all the time yeah I turned them off eventually too because I realized once you figure it out it's not a big deal mm. and the realistic settings aren't too shabby I don't know you'll see yeah. by the volume you have a small volume basically that you can yeah. you keep with you so what's all this stuff all this stuff uh, these all these chips you bought or you stole no no they're all sh so stole see like where you see in that distance there's a mining carriage that's moving uh, way in the distance so you just go and steal those basically oh really oh yeah yeah oh. <laughs> oh you just have to fly to it you go to the cockpit and then you can turn the dampeners on it slows down and, and then you control it all right and then you so just this fly is your new ship here uh, this is yeah this is my ship yeah the one i'm building yeah oh so Still working on it though. This is, you know, the front of it is here, of course. This is where I, I decided to put the beacon on the front of it so it has a little nose like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I don't know, I wasn't sure where else to put it. So, because the so back. This is for the landing gear. Well, land? that's the first piece that it starts. Like when you go, uh, was it G, and then you go into the the toolbar config, and then there's like new small ship, new large ship, new station wall. When you go new large ship, that's the first piece that you place is the, oh. the landing gear. But you could always remove that if you didn't want it. I could just chop it down off, and that's yeah. fine because. Well, in space, it seems pointless to have a landing gear. Well, that the uh, landing gear would be for when you're on your on, the, on like a space station, right? If yeah. you had one. So. I don't know if I'd want to try to land it with just one. <laughs> it doesn't seem very stable. <laughs> well, it's not meant to be landing yet. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, trying to use like, the in you just gotta put like a whole bunch of drills along the front. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see, have maybe. A different ship for drilling. I think I'm gonna have a small ship for dr or a different ship because I have a different idea yeah. with that. But it might have to be a medium sized ship. What about yeah. these satellites? You build these or do you steal these? No, no, you steal them too. Alright. Like up here, that's more intact, this one. It's more original. Yeah, this is original. I don't yeah. think anything's broken except maybe the. Yeah. The panel it has no fuel though. Well, none of these have fuel. The, let's see. I think this. I had this on because this was smelting something. Let's see if it's, it's done. Uh. Uh. So what you do is you take them all, attach them to your main ship, your red <laughs> ship here. Uh, uh, this one giant. Oh, what the heck? So one thing I don't like about these, the doors are just. Uh, if you're not perfect when you're going through the door, it doesn't let you in. So how do you like rotate? I got myself upside down. Is it Q and E? Oh, okay, cool. Alright, and then F and C go up and down. <coughs> okay. Alright, so it's kind of like you're you're on your Y, uh, well, I guess the Y axis. Yeah. That one. Let's see, it's refining. Oh, refinery still refining. Holy crap. Okay. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. It's interesting. And so that's all I've been doing is just going and chopping up stuff and and uh, <laughs> rebuilding and carry on and that's it.
<laughs> the other fun stuff would be like s smashing into each other or stuff like that. Like that's the only other interesting is the physics. Oh, here is their ship. So this is one thing. Yeah, this is one thing why I didn't like the lifeboats because it basically it gives you everything you need. Refinery yep. assembler. Uh, even has a gravity field too. Yeah. So it even has yeah gravity. He just does not fuel. That's all. Oh, it, it does have some fuel. Run the up to go home. So you just load up fuel and you can go home. <laughs> you win the game. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. And so this is. So how do you I... access the assemblers and stuff? Um. Okay. Well, if we go into, where are you even? In my ship. I want to see if there's anything in my ship. Oh, okay. You basically go to where there's, uh, where is it here, uh, to access them. Are you actually, okay, yeah. You just have to go right up here to where these guys are, the, uh, where it says assembler. I don't, even see, I don't even see where your words are. I'm, yeah. Weird. Hmm. It's probably buggy as shit. Yeah, there's so basically there's the assembler inside your yellow ship here, and then there's the refinery. And so you move over, you hit K. Oh, it's K. Okay. Yeah, K is to access inventory. Yeah. And that's, it's like the nuclear reactor. There's not much in there. No. <laughs> so they don't give you any resources. So. Huh? That's interesting. No, the resources are in those ships that are flying around. Yeah. Yeah, well, I thought you are supposed to mine them from asteroids. Yeah, you can mine the asteroids too. There's stuff in that as well. Oh, well, welcome back. Hopefully I'm not boring you yet. <laughs> so, yeah. So, what else are we doing here? So, yeah, that's about it. Oh, yeah. I was carving the door, which I did. I'm just going to take the cockpit too. Because I need components for... Uh... So, what I've noticed... See? Uh, if you can kind of see it, you get stuck. And I'm not sure what you're getting stuck on. So I have to take this out too, which is retarded. And I think, yeah, I think I'm okay. Take that out, and I can take. Uh, uh, yeah, this is gonna fall apart. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, you have to be careful when you're detaching these pieces. If it comes off of the vehicle, it'll slowly float away. So that's pretty annoying too sometimes. It's gonna cut this off here so as you can notice back to what I was talking about <laughs> it fills up and then we gotta use it so let's see here uh, small steel tubes uh, there we go there's more components that popped in there I'm just kind of tapping the, uh, the mouse button over it to load in materials see if you notice it's filling up the materials in there and so this is how I like to do you know, any kind of building or construction work is in third person, usually. Um, when you're doing more intense things like going after the spaceships, uh, like that mining carriage, for example, <clears throat> and commandeering it and bringing it back, I go first person for that. Um, for the camera, I don't know, I think it's kind of neat going third person. It's a different, it's a different kind of you feel to it. I'm going to try and use, you know, not use the hot bar as much as I can. So, uh, let's see how we do, how we fare. <laughs> Just you're drilling this. Or not drilling, you know, what am I talking about? Sheesh. And so there's like a magical barrier here. And I'm noticing it, it only happens after. Yeah, see, what's. Look at that. It's not even letting me go forward anymore. It's like stopped. So, this is a crappy ship design. <laughs> I haven't encountered that on my ship yet. Um, like for example, it's first person now. You can go, see, you can come in this way, you can come in this way. You don't get hung up on anything. Um, if you come in this way, oh, and we're flying this way. So it's working fine for me. I'm not sure why. Ah, uh, I see it doesn't show you. That's too bad. Yeah, that's one thing with this HUD is it's very useful. It'll show you what's left. Yeah, I need more interior plates, more everything. 
these are extra storage I've used. Um, they're going to be like toolboxes now because the main storage interacts with the assembler here. So, for example, if I go into here, I can directly drag this ingot into right here. Bang. And now I can use that for, for any construction purposes. And the mass actually didn't go up too much. So I'm going to actually load it up right away with the materials. Um, and I'm just clicking and dragging this into there. See, this is how cool this is, I think. Like, the, the inventory management is pretty neat. And so this is what gave me the idea to build the bank of, of uh, storage containers. Um, simply because it's so convenient. Um, and for some reason, it, it doesn't show the mouse in the fraps. So I'm going to have to find a different cursor or you graphic for the cursor so it shows up, I think. Um, oh, that's a display. Oh, I'm surprised they didn't need that. Boom. I'm shift clicking this into here. It should, if you shift click, you can shift click into the main one you're accessing. And then if you want to move items into the different portions, you just click and drag them into anything that's connected. Um, and even your unconnected ones show up. So I'm thinking of getting rid of these containers here. But my problem with with this one, I have the gyroscope right here. And you look at the uh, I get, oh, that's the assembler. Um, there's a gyroscope underneath this attached to the, the inventory box. And the gyroscopes take, I think, like a thousand. Uh, let's see here, gyroscope. Yeah, okay, we'll find it in here. <clears throat> uh, gyroscope. So large ship slash station. Um, I'm just reading it on the left hand side there. Uh, computer 5, fine. That's not a problem. Motor 2, no problem. Large steel 2, 4, okay. Construction component, 40, fine. And then your jaw drops. So steel plate, what? <laughs> 900? <laughs> uh, that does not make sense. A little tiny device. <laughs> Yet so much steel. Huh. That's like all this steel in here, all the steel plates from everywhere here inside that one little, there's a little tiny, die, tiny device. Now, I understand why they did it. It makes sense to me. And I don't have a problem with it. But I'm going to have to remove this gyroscope and probably reattach it to the bottom of the ship here in the middle, more centralized. And then I can get rid of this box here. And then I'll cover up the bottom. Um, I'm thinking you know, I could even put another reactor on the bottom. Um, yeah, maybe. Maybe I can just put all three reactors in this bank here. Well, that's kind of stupid too. No, maybe I'll keep this reactor. <clears throat> but then there's a the floor. Yeah, I'm going to have to think about what I'm going to do with the bottom of the ship. Um, it's gonna, some designs are going to change, I think. Uh, but this refinery is in full operation. Well, it was in full operation. Now it's not operating whatsoever. Uh, but watch. See these? I can click. And look, this is lit up. So I can actually throw it right into the assembler if I so choose. Or I threw it all in the refinery. That's why. Ah, that was my mistake. No, my bad. I was doing the wrong thing there. Oops. That yeah, was a good example. <laughs> yeah, if you wonder what I'm doing, I'm basically clicking and dragging this stuff back because this is where it's supposed to be. And then when you turn on anything in the assembler, it will automatically consume or collect the, the appropriate resources. Yeah. And I have my hand drill here because I haven't gone mining yet, but I'm preparing. That's what the ship is for. It's for gathering, you know, collecting. I don't know. It's, it's like a small base. So that way I can do that, and then I can start building the new stuff. Um, my design is probably pretty standard. Probably other people have done it. So not a big deal. Um, this beacon, I'm actually really thinking of tearing this apart. The radio communication components, by the way, are huge heavy and I'm thinking I'm gonna put the beacon right here so this is one well this would be two if I get rid of this storage box I'm building I can easily put it right in there 
and that will sit in there nicely. And then the reactors, maybe I'll put in the underbelly. I'll keep the one reactor, in, well, you know what? If I build the reactors in here somewhere, then I'll be able to get rid of that reactor. That sits right down here that you can see. I'll be able to get rid of that reactor. And then I'll be able to put other, maybe something else. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but maybe the reactor, yeah. I don't know. Maybe I just have to reorient that reactor so it connects. And then I can interact with it. I don't know. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing comments. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, but, yeah. I'll come back with another episode. Um, as soon as I know of an update. Or as soon as I do enough here. Um, I'll, I'll come back. So, yeah. So, you all have a fantastic day. And, uh, yeah. I'll get back to, to playing here.